Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform repairs safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. The spindle assembly is a riding mower component that works in conjunction with the drive belt and pulley to rotate a cutting blade. The assembly may be mounted to the mower deck with nuts and bolts or self-tapping screws. If screws are used, the spindle mounting base will not be pre-threaded, meaning the screws will create their own threads when being secured on the base. A pulley is attached to the upper portion of the spindle shaft and a cutting blade is attached to the lower portion of the shaft, underneath the mower deck. When a drive belt looped onto the pulley is engaged, the rotating pulley rotates the spindle shaft, which causes the blade to spin. A malfunctioning or damaged spindle assembly may prevent the blade from spinning. Spindle assemblies are often unique to each riding mower and will vary depending on the model. Self-tapping screws will vary by product as well. You should enter the full model number of your product in our website search bar to find the specific parts you need. Before you replace a spindle assembly, make sure the mower's ignition switch is in the off position and the key has been removed. Confirm that the mower deck is at its lowest position and that the clutch actuator lever or switch is in the off position. Next, you will need to detach the support arms securing the mower deck to the frame. You will also need to release the deck belt or belts from the engine pulley and any belt guides. Release any cables that may be secured in the retainers. And slide the deck out from under the frame. Detach the clutch cable from the idler arm. Use a wood block or a comparable sturdy object to hold the blade in place. Now use an appropriate size socket to loosen and unthread the spindle pulley mounting nut. We recommend using an impact driver to make this easier. With the nut removed, pull back the brake pad and lift off the spindle pulley. Next, carefully flip the mower deck over. Secure the blade and use an appropriate size socket to loosen and unthread the blade mounting bolt. With the bolt removed, set the blade aside. Flip the deck back over and unthread the mounting screws or the nuts and bolts, securing the old spindle assembly to the deck. Remove the old assembly. When installing the new spindle assembly, we recommend using new self-tapping screws, if applicable, and pre-threading them into the spindle base to make it easier when you actually secure the assembly to the deck. The pre-threading will require some effort. Now position the spindle assembly in the deck. If used on your model, confirm that the belt guide is properly aligned. Then thread and tighten all of the screws, or the nuts and bolts if applicable. With the new spindle assembly installed, flip the deck back over. Align the blade on the spindle shaft with the sharp edge facing away from the deck. Hold the blade in place, then thread the mounting bolt and tighten. Return the deck to its upright position. If applicable, replace the washer on the spindle shaft.
Realign the belt on the pulley as you slide the pulley onto the shaft. Rethread the mounting nut. Secure the blade and tighten the nut to secure the pulley. Attach the clutch cable spring to the idler arm and secure the cable. Slide the mower deck back under the frame and secure any cables. Realign the belt or belts on the engine pulley and the belt guides. Reattach all of the support arms to secure the deck to the frame. With the repair completed, return the start key to the ignition and your riding mower should be ready for use.